telling you, they've got uh, some grilled chicken that you put this breading on. It tastes just like you're eating fried chicken. It's the best stuff. Uh, they've got great uh, items in the cookbook. And I encourage you to go by there. You can talk to them about the program. If you can't make it on Tuesday, if you call ahead uh, either this Saturday or Monday, you'll get these uh, same offers, third off program and uh, the free body comp analysis and uh, blood pressure check. I, I went in back in October, and on October 20th, I signed the dotted line. I wanted to uh, try the program. I had been to the doctor, actually here in Smyrna. My doctor is in Smyrna, and uh, had, had been to him for uh, back problems. And my back had been bothering me. Well, it's it's been a, an old injury, but it continued to get worse. And my knees were crunchy, and, you know, every time I'd been down, you, you'd hear these popping and grinding noises and and the doctor said you know it's not going to cure you but one thing that is going to help you tremendously is if you would lose weight well I, I walked out puffed up a little mad that the doctor told me to lose weight but then you know after you realize yeah he was right so my wife called the metabolic research center at 8935501 I went in talked to them and I jumped on board their program and since October 20th I have lost 102 and a half pounds and a total of 57 and a half inches now last last month it was 47 and a half inches so I lost another 10 inches this past month. I went from a size 52 in pants to uh, a 36. I can get into a 36 now, and I'm excited about that, and I'm excited about the program, and I'm excited that many of you are joining up as well. If you've got questions, call. It's a free consultation. You can ask them any question in the world, 893-5501, the Metabolic Research Center there in the Uptown Square. Mike Sparks is here with us in uh, Smyrna, County Commissioner Mike Sparks, and uh, you said your wife weighs 100 pounds, doesn't she? Yeah, I said I was off the air. I was kidding about, I said, that's my wife total, 100, 102 pounds right there. And yeah, Denny I, actually gave me a compliment. So yeah, because I looked at you and said, that's my wife. <laughs> losing that, he was like, that's your wife right there? You know, but the other day I, I, I was telling telling these guys I went through Krispy Kreme, the new Krispy Kreme we got in Smyrna, it was a, I thought it was a good deal, free, <laughs> it was a free cup of coffee with a, 12 donuts. I, was, I want a cup of coffee, so I bought the donuts and carried them back to my wife and said, look what I got you. And she got mad at me. She, I mean, she was mad in a hornet because I bought them donuts. And then this morning, she wasn't eating them. This morning, I got up and she was the first one eating them donuts. You know? Is that right? Yeah. Oh, she'd be mad if she knew. I was talking about it she right can, now. Well, uh, we'll be sure to tell her. I, I've got... Uh I've got your phone number. I'll call. Right. Uh, let, let's talk a little bit about the reunion in the uh, remaining minutes that we have uh, left here. Uh, Stan, the reunion is every other year, and I think the last time you and I talked, I, I remember you saying that, uh, and I guess this would happen, that the numbers kind of fall off sometimes the, the longer you go, but this has been going on 24 years if it's the 12th biannual, right? Yes, and of course the, the base has been closed 38 years. Wow. So there's no new blood coming in. We just have to rely on some of the younger people that are still left around. That uh, and anyone who has served, <laughs> anyone who has served, these two young fellows on either side. They of me keep are, raising right? their they hands. Keep raising their hands. Now, hand, Steve, how old are you? 84. 84. So, so Denny, you are the youngster here. Yeah. 80, 83. Yeah. No, well. Oh, okay. I'm 25. You're 25. Yeah. Okay, I can but, see that. Yeah. <laughs> but, but anyone who has served on Seward Air Force Base is welcome to come to the reunion. We have a lot of fun. Few people tell a few lies here and there, but uh, I can't imagine most of it. Most of it is just reminiscing. Uh huh. Now, it goes on for several days. I mean, do these folks come back into town and stay and, and eat dinner in the Smyrna and all? Yes. Well, yes. In fact, we have uh, Steve is in charge of the golf tournament out here that uh, is held each year and the Ridley Open. And uh, so the folks get back out here. And we used to run a tour out here that people would come out on a bus and just tour the area. But now most of them just come out in their own vehicles and, and look around. And uh, Not everyone is local. We have people come from California, uh, all over the United States uh, that come to the reunion. Now, how many uh, are we talking uh, that, that would would be able to come, I mean, that, that are still alive? And, and, and are, we're not talking about a huge number of folks, are we? Well, we're, we've been as high as four or 500, yes, and yeah. it's down now right? around 250, and this year... It's looking more like about 150, 170. 178 years yeah. by Monday. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's uh, it's it's gradually 
uh, well, they just aren't surviving. Yeah. Well. So, so, so. How, how many would have called in the prime? How, how many would have gone through the gates here and worked here at at Seward Air Base over the years? Do you have any clue? No, I don't. There's so many of them because everyone that ever flew the C-130 came through here, I believe. Yeah, and of course there were C-82s here and yeah, C-119s, and and of course even we even had a couple of years ago somebody that took B-24 training here. Mm -hmm. Wow. During World years War II. Ago, uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. So that's what the base was initially built for was B-24 training. That's correct. It was yeah. closed. Uh, it was closed a couple of times already, or then the, then this closing we had in 1970, 71. It was closed oh, before for a short period. Yeah, yeah, it was closed and uh, it was activated in 1942 as a heavy bombardment Army Air Force base, uh, and then it was deactivated in 1947, and a year later activated as a, a Smyrna Air Force base, hmm. and then it was on in. No, uh, let's see, in February of 1950, it was renamed Seward Air Force Base in honor of Major Alan J. Stewart, formerly of Nashville and Murfreesboro. And he was killed uh, in combat, aerial combat, over the Solomon Islands in World War II. Now, was his last name Stewart or Seward? Seward. Seward, okay. S E W A. Because that's a common thing. Yeah, it, they, yeah. they, they spell it. All. Many people misunderstand. Yeah. It, it, I've heard Stewart Air Force Base, and, oh, yes. and I said, you know, that, that's, the, that's a big misconception. It's uh, Seward Air Force Base. Um, what, what, will, what will you be doing? I know you've, you've kind of alluded to. Uh, the golf tournament that may be going on. What are some other other things, uh, Stan? Well, mostly we uh, we just we have a hospitality two hospitality suites uh, at the Airport Marriott Hotel, and they're open every day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. On Friday night, we have a, in the Capitol Ballroom a buffet that's a, an all-you-can-eat type buffet, and then on Saturday morning is the uh, golf, the Ridley Open, and on the hospitality suites are also open on uh, uh, Saturday all day, and at uh, four four o'clock in the afternoon we have a, just a business meeting to discuss what's going to take place in the next year or the next two years, uh, maybe elect new uh, members of the committee, and then at six o'clock we have a, a banquet with the Craig Duncan Band. Uh, they're a, a great band that play a lot of uh, 1960s and 70s and 50s music and also World War II music and uh, with a dance and, a, and a, a banquet for the Saturday night. And then, of course, the hospitality suite is open afterwards for a few people who can hang out that long. <laughs> but, uh, uh, and Steve can. They are there. Yeah, they're there. Steve can. Yeah, oh, yes. it's, it's open, yeah. too. <laughs> for those of you who might know Bonzo Von Haven, he was a legend in his own time and in his own mind, as we say. But uh, <laughs> he's going to be a bartender at one of the one of the bars. It was a great decision to make, to make yeah. him bartender, too, <laughs> by the way. Yes, yes. <laughs> He, he also uh, has uh, 20,000 hours of flying time in the C-130. Mm -hmm. He not only flew it in the Air Force until he retired, but then he went to Africa and flew for a, a company over there. And long after the retirement age of, uh, what is it, 62 or 65 in the U.S., yeah. he flew till he was 70-something years old. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. He looks like he's hard to walk. He really does. Mm -hmm. But he's, uh, he's a great pilot. Yes. Yes, he is. Um, I won't want you to give contact information and phone number out if, if anyone's listening that wants to attend. Okay, yes. Uh, the telephone number is area code 615-824-1570. And that would be Wilma Welsh. She's the one who will take your, uh, your information and tell you... Uh, what you need to do to, to register. What is that number again? One more time. 615-824-1570. All right. Um, and and that's it's it's coming up in the next few weeks, is it not? Yes. What, what did 21st, you say? The 21st. Second, third, checking out on the 24th of, of uh, May. It's surprising how many of these people that come here go back and try to find out where their buildings were that they were... Oh, is that right? Or where they lived in a in a where a Cape Park housing area. Yeah. Well, I lived um, just across from 
very near Sam, the Sam Davis home. All right. And some of those homes out there, apparently, uh, my, my very first mm -hmm. home with my wife was was a small home, and all the homes out there, maybe the siding was a different color, or the house was painted a yeah. different color, but they were all the same. And I understand that those were some uh, homes that were built maybe in the 50s or 60s for that purpose. I lived in the old Cheney home. You know where that is. Yeah, right. And we had room and room, uh, room and kitchen privileges. So we had uh, three to four couples living in there. That's the one by the creek, uh, yes. across from Sam uh -huh. Davis' home. The one that's supposed to be haunted. Yes. Somebody's talking about to the well, There yeah. was a spook in there. I never. There wasn't. <laughs> you probably scared them off. <laughs> <laughs> no. But it was a beautiful, beautiful old home. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I appreciate you guys coming in uh, and spending a little time reminiscing today, and uh, uh, good luck with the reunion. I'm sure you'll have a big time and stay up too late and have to have a week to recover, won't you? At least. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recover as fast no. as I used to. I understand mm -hmm. that. Uh, Stan Hahn and Steve Fitzhugh and Denny Taylor all joining us here today. Denny, appreciate